Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll be discussing related to function blocks. Okay. So basically, function blocks are used in order to. Uh, you it is used generally in order to use the same same logic multiple times, right? So our main organization block is the block where the main program executes. Okay. So we can call different types of function blocks or functions inside this main block. Okay. So basically, we will be learning in this lecture that how to create a function block and how to use them in the main organization block, right? So basically, what happens is here, what we'll do is we'll be considering or imagining that we are having a process in which multiple motors are to be controlled using single logic. Okay, so basically, if you are having multiple processes which are running. In, multiple processes or multiple motors in a single process okay so in which multiple motors are running with the same logic there is no difference in the logic then we will not make uh, the we will not make different logics for the same um, uh, basically different uh, for different motors we will not make different logics right so we will be using one single logic for multiple motors right so how to do that we'll be seeing in this lecture Okay, so basically we'll be creating a logic inside a function block and then we'll be calling that function block multiple times in the main organization block as per the requirement. If as many number of motors are present, we can call the as many number of function blocks, right? So here if you double click, you'll be able to observe that we are having multiple options to create function blocks, right? So if you observe this is our main organization block and this is our function block then function and this is db okay so we all know that db is basically used to store all the content of the, any function block block or a timer or a counter right similarly our main organization block is used in order to execute any program so this is the main block where the program executes and we'll be calling this functions as well in this main organization block only and this function is also a, a very similar to this function block only okay so we'll be seeing this function block here okay so i'll be clicking on this ok button okay if you are clicking on this there will be a function block created right so let us observe this is our function block see if you are able to observe this is our function block created here you can even rename this one okay so you can rename this function block as well okay you can write it as motor number for motor right so there is some process motor we can uh, take it right now we'll be writing some logic inside this function right so we need to define some tags so here if you observe we will be defining all the tags here itself okay and then we'll be using the same tags here so we'll be defining some tags we'll not be using any address here we'll be simply defining the tags so that is forward suppose we are having a motor which is running in forward as well as reverse direction as per the interlocking so we'll be using interlocking as well here okay so let me make a forward start right so forward okay this is our forward start and then we'll be having a reverse start okay and then we'll be having a stop right so in this way we are having this is stop here okay now what we'll do is i'll be using some other address so here we'll be uh, using a forward right forward direction motor will be running in the forward direction reverse direction right okay so in this way we have created this tax now we'll be using the same tax here also so if you want something these are the main inputs and outputs if you want any temporary memory to be defined then we can define here okay right so let us make some logic now here what we'll do is i'll use one no and one nc one more nc and output okay now what we'll do is 
I'll just provide an holding here. So this is basically what we are making is interlocking which we have seen in one of the lectures, right? So I'll just make it simply here and close it. Now the same network will be required one more time because we are providing it for reverse as well. Okay. So here we are having two networks. Now what I'll do is this is our forward start. This is our reverse start. This is our forward direction. This is our reverse direction. Okay. So this is right now. What we'll do is we'll be having forward direction here. Similarly, for holding, we'll be having a reverse direction here. Right? So no, this is forward. This is fine. Forward direction. Here we'll be having a reverse direction. Right? Now what we'll do is uh, here also we'll be having a reverse direction. Okay? So this is fine. Now we will be using this tag here for interlocking purpose. Similarly, forward will be using here for interlocking, right? And here we will be using a stop tag. Similarly, stop will be used here. Okay, so this block is ready now. Okay, so now we will be calling this block in main organization block as per number of motors. So, for example, we are having first motor here. So I'll call this for first motor and here it will be asking for a name. So I'll be changing its name as motor number one. Right. Okay. Similarly, we'll be creating one more. Okay. So minimize this one. We'll be creating one more, right? So this is uh, our one more logic will be using it here right so in this way we are having this one okay so we will be using this for two motors i will be changing its name as well okay i can rename this tag rename the data block that is motor number two okay now what we'll do is we'll be using it one by one okay so the first motor and this is motor number two okay i'll be using i'll be providing some tags here okay so let us create some tags Okay, so one will be for motor number, motor one, forward, start, motor two, river, sorry, motor one only, motor one, reverse, start, similarly, uh, motor one, stop okay and then we'll be having a start again this is basically for forward right so forward direction motor one motor one forward this is basically an output right so what we'll give is we'll be giving q0.0 here right similarly motor one reverse direction right and similarly i will be using this tags again okay so for motor number one again motor number two right motor number two reverse direction right sorry forward direction okay so here we'll be having this address as q0 dot uh, sorry i0 dot 3 right so the third input i0 dot 3 okay and similarly we'll be having other tags as well so motor number 2 reverse direction okay and motor number 
stop okay and here again i'll be having outputs for motor number 2 forward start okay forward direction basically right so this will be having an address as q0 dot 2 right and then we'll be having one more that is motor number 2 reverse yes reverse direction right so in this way we have created all the tags now let us uh, take all the tags here so the forward tag will be start so motor number 1 right so motor 1 forward start similarly this will be motor 1 reverse restart and no? reverse start and this will be motor number 1 motor 1 stop right so here will be having output as q0 dot we can write it as q0 dot 0 directly you know that okay and this will be q0 dot 1 okay similarly this will be q0 dot 2 for motor number 2 and this is motor number 3 uh, motor number 2's reverse so q0 dot 3 okay so this is how we are taking all the tags and then we'll be defining the forward reverse and stop here so this is i0 dot 3 i0 dot 3 right and then we'll be having i0 dot 4 here and similarly i0 dot 5 so this is how we have defined all the tags for all the motors right so both the motors with the same logic but different addresses right so i am downloading it uh, again let us download this one I'll be downloading it, right? So yes, load it. Okay, so it has been downloaded now. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll be going in the online mode. okay after going to online mode will be start monitoring the logic okay so initially it is zero all the inputs and outputs are in the zero state okay so let us monitor all the things inside this here okay so we have all the tags and all the requirements here so what we'll do is i'll start the motor number once in the forward direction so if you are able to observe i am just clicking it and releasing it so if you are able to observe this forward direction motor is in the on state right now we can also turn on the motor number 2 okay so this is motor number 2's forward direction okay so this is how it is turning on i am releasing it right so both the motors forward direction is on okay now if you try to reverse it okay so if it, it is possible or not it is not possible because we have used interlocking so before reversing the direction we need to stop it so i'll stop the forward direction and then i will reverse it okay so now it is in the reverse direction if you are able to observe motor number 2 running in the reverse direction right now similarly what we'll do is we'll be doing the same thing for motor number 2 as well so what we'll do is if i try to do it for reverse direction it is not working i'll stop it and then i'll turn on the reverse direction so it is happening so the same thing okay so basically we are having two motors but only one logic okay so this is the beauty of this function called function block right so we can create multiple numbers of motors okay so we are we can use the same logic for multiple number of motors but we need to use different data blocks right so basically we will be uh, calling this function multiple times and will will be using different data blocks see this is 
the same function function motor is having multiple data blocks motor number one motor number two similarly for large number of motors we can have the same logic right so this is what is the beauty of this function block right so we can monitor this also here okay so see in the background it is running it is running in the reverse direction okay similarly uh, this logic will work but the front side will be ha having only this okay so this is how we are creating this function block okay so thank you